Our other big story tonight is these freezing temperatures right now. Parts of our coverage area are under a winter weather advisory, and that has several places working through the night to keep people out of the cold. 41 NBC's Lizbeth Gutierrez explains how you can help. Friday marks one month into winter, and with winter comes freezing temperatures. In Macon, the Brookdale Warming Center is opening its doors for people to stay the night and out of the cold. But before they do so, they need your help. We need volunteers that can, uh, you know, work with security uh, to do things like intake um, so that we know who is coming into the facility um, and, uh, you know, just to be there to kind of supervise. The center says they were able to help 10 people get out of the cold just last week. The plan is to open up enough space every night that temperatures drop below the 30s. We really need volunteers for Sunday. Right now we don't have any that are signed up for either shift. And so the shifts are 6 p.m. to midnight and midnight to 7. The Millageo community also needs volunteers who will help donate items like this to help keep the community warm. For this particular weekend, we're asking for blankets, for jackets and coats, uh, gloves, hats, scarves, hand warmers. In Milledgeville, the Millie Free Fridge was created to tackle food insecurity. But now with cold temperatures, they want to take another step to also help keep those in need warm. Those blankets and clean socks and warm drinks really can take someone to just a place of feeling a little bit of comfort. It's very hard to imagine the the lack of comfort that someone can have on on such a cold and dreary weekend. The donation rack is located outside of Kathy's tax service where you can drop off items in Macon. Elizabeth Gutierrez 41 NBC News. You can find information about how to volunteer with the Brookdale Warming Center and where to donate items in Milledgeville on our website, 41NBC.com. And 41NBC AccuWeather meteorologist Aaron Lowry will have a complete look at just how long this cold weather will last, coming up in weather.